Hello, uh, my name is Ifo Mwanko. I am Associate Professor of English at Vanderbilt University. I'd like to begin by thanking uh, Professor Barbara McCaskill and her team for inviting me to participate in this conversation. I am excited about this opportunity and looking forward to hearing and seeing other folks' uh, presentations. So I'm going to talk with you today about uh, Voices from Our America. It is a publicly engaged applied research project um, that I founded um, after, create, after writing my first monograph, Black Cosmopolitanism. I want to talk with you about it because it is uh, driven by my interest in figuring out what comes before what we see or what folks typically see as activism, what comes before the march in the street, what comes before the novel uh, is written, what comes even before um, we see someone sharing their story or making a political argument in public. So uh, as part of that project, I sought to conduct life history interviews and elicit oral narratives from individuals of African descent in the US um, and in the Republic of Panama, folks who grew up for the most part uh, under US Jim Crow, um, to get a sense of how, of their identities, of their worldviews, of their uh, histories, of the multiple educations that went into their concepts of themselves, and very importantly, how they imagine uh, that information and the knowledge that they have gained over the course of their lives transferring between generations, thinking about what do they want the generations behind them to know about them and to know about their experiences. This project, Voices from Our America, is rooted in the idea of epistemic justice. It is rooted in the idea that important and valuable knowledge resides not only in books that are published by scholars, but in the life experiences and in the oral narrative, uh, oral narratives of everyday people as they are walking around. Wisdom, knowledge, primary sources, and philosophies of life exist all around us all the time. So I was very, uh, I'm very motivated to call all of our attention to that. A key dimension of my investment in epistemic just, justice resides in my investment in ensuring that these new primary sources, the oral narratives, the perspectives that are gleaned uh, through these interviews um, are integrated and incorporated into K through 16 education. These are knowledges, these are living primary sources. These are primary sources that are valuable um, for everyone to know, for everyone to engage with. And it should not be seen, they should not be seen as, oh, this little kind of interesting exotic add-on to, uh, to education, to formal education. They should be among the texts uh, that we share with students. Uh, they should be among the texts that um, students become interested in creating their own version of. Uh, so for example, the idea is not only to present uh, the transcript of an oral narrative and have students attend to the content of it, but to teach students methodologies for uh, perhaps interviewing someone that, someone who they know, or uh, perhaps envisioning what someone who they see um, in their neighborhood um, has experienced, and for giving them the 
the energy, uh, the excitement, the enthusiasm, uh, the drive to want to to be curious about the world about them, to be curious about other people's perspectives on on life. So Voices from Our America, we started uh, interviews in 2007 in the Republic of Panama. Uh, the project manager for that project wonderfully was Nyasha Warren. Uh, a, a, a Panamanian West Indian, uh, Panamanian West Indian woman, and over the course of the last uh, 13 years, we have conducted over 150 interviews with uh, Panamanians of West Indian descent, with African American expats in Panama, as well as others, other people of African descent, uh, descent there. We've also uh, conducted multiple workshops with, within the community uh, among the programs that we've run in collaboration with Instituto Episcopal and uh, uh, Princer, Principal Patricia there is an oral history competition where students had the opportunity to interview uh, individuals in the community create final projects about those individuals and then present them in the community and have them judged by uh, community knowledge experts. And then we had a pep rally uh, in the gym at the school where students could uh, receive prizes and be recognized for the work that they had done. This is an example of uh, our understanding of epistemic justice. It is uh, having the knowledge be valued in formal as well as informal educational settings. A key part of Voices from Our America's work is producing tools and materials that educators uh, and youth, uh, other community members can use to help circulate the knowledge, uh, move around the knowledge, share the knowledge that is gathered from uh, individuals in the community, that individuals in the community already have. So among the materials we have created is a series of lesson plans in collaboration with uh, K through 12 teachers uh, in, the, in Panama that was uh, displayed um, on the VFOA blog and was uh, undertaken in collaboration with the Center for Latin American Studies here at Vanderbilt. The goal of that work is to provide materials for teachers to be able to use to help uh, advance knowledge, to advance the uh, understanding of communities, of a range of communities. We've also done many uh, teacher workshops. Uh, we've also uh, launched a website, which you can see here, and the website is uh, constantly uh, under development because we're continuing to add materials to that, uh, to that website. We've also done programs here uh, in, in Middle Tennessee. We've also done uh, translations of books and other materials produced by uh, folks in Panama by Panamanians of West Indian descent. Again, the idea is epistemic justice. Uh, the idea is ensuring that a wide range of knowledges and wide range of perspectives, wide wage, way, a wide range of ways of seeing the world is available to students and to young people and to uh, everyone. It's rooted in the idea that if we learn about each other, if we know each other's experiences, that we are more likely to become empathetic.
I'd like to move now to talking about um, particular examples of uh, individuals and populations that show us why epistemic justice is needed. So when people talk about the construction of the Panama Canal, if they talk about the West Indians at all, typically talk about the Colon Man. There's actually a song about the Colon Man. Uh, Rumen Blades has a song about West Indian Man. Uh, but very often the impact of woman is left out. So what we see in the interviews that we've conducted through Voices from Our America are individuals talking about their grandmothers, individuals talking about the role that older women played in helping them to develop their sense of identity, their sense of pride, their world views, and by extension, their belief in their own dignity, their belief in the rights that they have as human beings and the rights that they have as Panamanians and in the rights that they have as Panamanians of West Indian descent. So for example, we hear Grace Clark talking about her grandmother and the impact of her grandmother um, on her ability to deal with racism. In addition, we hear many interviewees talking about teachers, talking about the teachers, uh, particularly the women teachers, who played a significant role in their, uh, in their development. We also have interviews with uh, women who were teachers uh, during Jim Crow, during the Jim Crow years on the Panama Canal Zone. And uh, through them, we can see how they navigated a world that was hostile to them. And by extension, we can see how they conceptualized ways to teach that would infuse their students with dignity that later led to what we recognize as activism. But it's really crucial that we attend to, that we pay attention to the behaviors, uh, the contributions that exist uh, that were made before the thing that we typically see as activism. So we have teacher Ana Teresa Bennett, uh, who was educated in Panama and the United States uh, and had an impact on multiple students um, all, across, uh, all across the isthmus of Panama. So that is Voices from Our America. I encourage you to check out the Voices from Our America website, voicesamerica.org. We continue to add interviews. Uh, we continue to add materials. Um, we look forward to, uh, to hearing from you once you visit. Um, any questions you have and, and, and any thoughts you'd like, uh, you'd like to share. Um, I also... Uh, am very interested in hearing about what you have going on, uh, how you conceptualize activism, how you conceptualize epistemic justice, and what things you are doing or what things you see others doing um, that could really help to advance this work. Thank you so much. I look forward to a bright future for all of us. <laughs>